Federal money will be going towards fighting violence against Native Hawaiian women and girls. Well, it's an ongoing effort for, from Senator Maisie Hirono, and it was the topic of discussion with advocates today. KTV4's Ali Duclo shares some of the key takeaways. One of the main points of the discussion was the military's role in sex trafficking. Data shows 38% of those who were arrested for soliciting sex from a 13-year-old online were active duty personnel. Overall, we need to call attention, community attention to this problem. It's a problem disproportionately impacting Vahine Oivi, or Native Hawaiian women. Gender-based violence. A report from the Missing and Murdered Native Hawaiian Women and Girls Task Force indicates more than a quarter of missing girls in Hawaii are Native Hawaiian, and the majority of sex trafficking cases are Native Hawaiian girls trafficked in Waikiki. While the report does not suggest the military personnel specifically target Native Hawaiian women and girls, organizers felt the need to include sex trafficking arrest data on service members. In the past 10 years, I don't think we've seen aggregated data on military involvement with sexual violence here from the state level. This comes as the Department of Defense reports an overall increase in the number of service members who have been sexually assaulted over the past few years. There's no analysis, though, of the civilians uh, that were also um, part of the numbers. Senator Hirono's response when asked if she hears from local military leaders about violence against women and sex trafficking among its personnel. Frankly, not enough. In December, President Biden signed Hirono's legislation into law, designating funds from the Violence Against Women Act for Native Hawaiian survivors of gender-based violence. During a roundtable conversation Tuesday with Hirono, an organization supporting Native Hawaiian women, survivors themselves pointed out while there are services to help overcome trafficking and obtain entry-level employment, there aren't many resources to help them advance their careers. We need better paying jobs. We can't survive. Mm -hmm. We are trying. We're not asking for a handout. We are asking for help. The specific grant program Hirono's bill addresses is expected to provide four and a half million dollars this year for Native women nationwide. It's not a lot of money, sad to say, nationally. Uh, and so part of what I will be doing is increasing the, the grant money for this program. The next step is identifying a nonprofit group serving Native Hawaiians to qualify for the funding. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News. And the U.S. Department of Defense told KITV4 it continues to work diligently on combating human trafficking and provide a voice to trafficking survivors. And that it's combating trafficking in person's office met with state officials to discuss future initiatives to prevent trafficking. The DOD adds there will be follow-on meetings to implement actions discussed.